क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the chemical composition of the nucleic acid and now in this topic we are going to talk about the difference between the DNA and RNA so what are the main difference between this two nucleotides this is what we are going to talk about in this topic so now let's get started So friends in this topic I'm going to talk about the difference between DNA and RNA. We understand that is for DNA it stands for that is deoxyribose nucleic acid and RNA stands for that is ribose nucleic acid. So in that case basically the main or the major difference that is what we could find that is the sugar unit of the DNA it is basically beta D that means dextro deoxyribose while in case of that is RNA it is beta D that is dextro ribose nucleic acid so that is the major difference so talking about the second part that is for DNA it is a double stranded alpha helix structure while talking about that is RNA it is a single stranded alpha helix structure so talking about the bases that is cytosine and thiamine so these are the two bases that are being present in DNA while talking about the bases of the RNA so in that case for the bases like cytosine and uracil so these two are basically the bases which are been present in RNA whenever we are concerned with the pyrimidine bases so these are the difference that is what we have discussed about but now let me discuss about the other difference also so talking about the molar mass of the DNA so it has been found that is the molar mass of the DNA it can range from that is 6 into 10 raised to 6 to 16 into 10 raised to 6 unit and talking about the molar mass of the RNA so it has a range from that is 20,000 to 40,000 unit so that is the difference that is what we could find and talking about the functionality it has been found that is DNA it can replicate but RNA they cannot replicate and that is the uniqueness for the DNA and that's the reason that is the genetic part it is transferred because of the DNA only and it doesn't transfer because of the RNA so talking about the function of the DNA that is the DNA as we have discussed that is DNA plays a very vital role in transferring the genetics by talking about RNA RNA is very much important in protein synthesis so therefore this are the major difference that is what we have discussed about and now let me talk about the structure of DNA so talking about the structure of DNA so here is a schematic diagram so here we can find that is here we can find a deoxyribose sugar to which there is a base attached and this base it could be adenine and guanine it depends upon and talking about the other phosphate unit so here basically we can find a phosphate unit and here we see suppose if we consider carbon number one over here carbon number two carbon number three this is carbon number four and this is carbon number five so we can find that is on carbon number three and on carbon number five there is an attachment of the phosphate unit while on carbon number one there is an attachment of a base so in that case basically we could find that is this polymer it goes on and that is how basically the structure the actual structure of the DNA it will be a double stranded alphyl structure and the structure is this one so here we can find that is a double alphyl structure but here basically if the carbon number 3 starts from here so it ends with carbon number 5 but when we talk about the other that is alpha helix so here basically if the carbon number starts with 3 it ends with Five. so the both are complementary to each other but talking about the main thing over here that is if you talk about guanine so guanine is nothing but a base so it will form a bond with the cytosine only and talking about that is adenine it will form a bond with that is thiamine so in that case basically we can find that is there is different kind of combination and that's the reason that is the every DNA is comparatively different from the other DNA and that is how but we can also match and we can also match uh, by predicting whether this DNA is matching to which of the other human being or which of the other living being so in that case basically this property of the DNA makes a uniqueness for a particular individual and talking about the bonding between these two bases so in that case we see the guanine and the cytosine they have that is hydrogen bonding and here we can see that is there are three hydrogen bonding so this double line or this triple line it represents hydrogen bonding between the two bases and that is how basically the two alpha helix structure so that's the reason that is this two alpha helix structure of this polynucleotide they combined with each other and that is how basically the structure of DNA it is and that's it
so this was related to the structure of dna and now let me talk about the structure for rna so this is the structure for rna so in this case the sugar in it that is what you could get it is basically ribose nucleic acid and in this case also similar to that of the dna that is here there is carbon number one to which the base is attached carbon number two where we can find that is oh group while in case of that is dna there was a deoxyribose means there was no oxygen over here so this is carbon number three carbon number four and this is carbon number five so on carbon number five and on carbon number three we can find that is a phosphate unit are been attached to in every case or in every nucleotide and that is how basically the rna is formed and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know the difference between the dna and rna and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much